This bike that Chris is riding, uh, everyone thinks these bikes are way over priced. Not even close to that. Uh, the bike that he's riding here today, everything you're going to see done, this is done on the uh, base model. And you'll see it has more performance than anyone wants to use. Just getting this warm, mic warmed up. These uh, four bikes take a minute. They need to be warmed up. And not just the motors. You gotta warm the brakes up, warm the tires up, let everything get warmed up before it'll run properly. Be able to perform the way he wants it to. Looks like it's working good now. Stop, he comes right up. He can roll those 100 to 100 feet. I love the way that bike sounds. Leo's is fun, by the way. That's the only motor mod that he has done to this bike. It has more power than, uh, by far, than we would need for what we do. They really had a home run with this bike. Everyone that gets on it loves it. Everyone that sees it. Pretty much everybody loves this bike, and it performs right up to its, uh, all the hype in the surrounding it. Chris, uh, competes in the XDL series. If you guys don't know what that is, uh, there's a professional stunt riding circuit, uh, and it's called XDL. You go to xdlshow.com. There's gonna be, a, a series or a TV show about them in October. Uh, it's called Inside XDL and Speed Channel. But if you want to see more of these guys and uh, what they do, xdlshow.com, they do tricks like this. You see uh, tricks with like circle wheelies there. Fancy tire balance, you see the ball, you see the brakes, you see the clutch, the way you control the bike. You see now, he's just playing on it. To him, it's just a big 450-pound toy. Chris got older, his toys just get getting bigger. One-handed 